emergency situation. No, that wouldn't help. <laughs> Maybe you should have had a bucket with I'm you. I'm in the pool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gift <coughs> oh that's mine now <laughs> uh, welcome to Whitehead beautiful little seaside town here in Northern Ireland I'm Stephen and if you like the outdoors have a look around the channel and you might want to subscribe but today I'm taking a look at this this is the Oru Kayaks Beach LT folding folding boat it weighs 10 kilos, it's made from corrugated plastic, and you can assemble it in under five minutes once you get practiced at it, using nothing more than a collection of belts, straps, and buckles. And today I'm out testing it. I initially saw an advert for this on Instagram ages ago, and if I'm honest, I was really, really cynical about it. It's like a folding boat, that seems like an absolutely terrible idea. But I'm a fan of sort of innovative products, especially ones that fold down compact and don't take up too much space. And this folds down to the size of a briefcase, which is just insane. So I contacted Ori and sort of said, any chance I could borrow one of those for a few weeks to make some videos about it? And they sent me this, so I'm not getting to keep it. I've got to give it back, but I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. And I have to say, my cynicism has been melting away because this thing is a lot of fun. Here comes some surf. My shorts are wet. I'm gonna head back in now and uh, gonna drag my sister Naomi out along the shore here in Whitehead. I've been uh, relegated to the paddleboard. Attack! <laughs> ah, she's getting away! <laughs> hey! Oh. Uh, you have a turn! <laughs> uh, my arms are killing me. It's in my sandwich house. Right, um, I've got chicken mayonnaise back, that's mine. Um, chicken tikka? Me. Fell in the sea. We've, no, uh, we've, we've stopped for a snack, which is maybe a good place to get uh, some opinions from Naomi and what she thinks of the kayak. Right, you've never used this. Yes. What do you think of it? I really like it. It's a lot lighter than the inflatable ones that you have, uh, so much more easy for me with my little weak arms to maneuver <laughs> in the sea. Uh, what do you think of it compared to that paddleboard? Uh, See, I can, I don't know. I like that you can get in the water with a paddle board, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's easier to get in out of the water if you want to. It's yeah. also a lot easier to paddle than the paddle board is because you're not having to constantly swap hands. What I find, especially when it's a little bit windy, I'm on the paddle board. I haven't been on the paddle board in ages and the wind's picked up and I kind of had to sit down. Yeah. Um, I want you to kneel on the paddle board, it gets very uncomfortable very quickly. Yeah. So well, the paddle board's really hard to beat when there's really completely smooth day, but when there's like any kind of chop, it's quite different when you've got the kayak. Yeah. You feel you feel a lot more you feel a lot more secure. You relax. The paddle board, you're always like your core is always engaged. You're always kind of 
doing something. It feels like if you did start swaying about in it too much, you could probably tip it, but yeah. I feel pretty secure, even though it is a little bit wavy and choppy. It glides really nicely through the water. It's much easier to get up the speed in, and it's only 10 kilos. It's much lighter as well than my inflatable, than my inflatable kayak. Inflatable watercraft are great. As I say, I have an inflatable kayak. I've also got some paddle boards. Uh, but the big downside is either you pump them up manually, in which case your arms are absolutely exhausted by the time you're getting on the water, or you have to run an electric pump, which annoys just about everybody within one square kilometer. This doesn't have that problem. Whoa! Whoa! I was not expecting swell that size. <laughs> Wind is starting to pick up and there's some larger swells starting to come in now and the Oru kayak while it's actually handled um, a little bit of a little bit of chop perfectly fine and um, it is really rated for flatter water so yeah we're gonna head back. It costs 1200 pounds um, so you know it's expensive it's not gonna be for everyone and despite my concerns about the plastic material it's made from Oru say that it will survive 20,000 folds. So that means I can use it 20,000 times before the plastic on this should start to crack, um, which is probably more than I'd ever use a kayak in my lifetime. So yeah, it should be pretty robust. Just to point out that for open water, it's probably a good idea to get a pair of these Oru float bags. They go on the front and the back of the kayak and they give it a lot more buoyancy, which as you'll see are kind of essential for open water recovery, but we didn't have these on the day. I'm, I'm gonna start in the water. I'm gonna take my feet off the bottom. And I'm not allowed to touch the bottom with my feet and I have to try and get back into it. And then maybe I'll see how easy it is to tip. My feet are off and I will not touch them on the bottom again. And I'm gonna try and get into it. So if this was a paddle board, I'd attack from the side. So I'm gonna try that first. <laughs> right, <laughs> I've got my arms on. Oh, oh, nearly. <laughs> I'm nearly in. With difficulty. <laughs> right, well, what does it take to tip it? <laughs> oh no, it's tipped. I'm not allowed to touch the bottom with my feet. Now I'm going to try and flip it over and get back on it. And not lose your paddle. What? And not lose the paddle. I feel like that would be an important step. It what gives you so that buoyancy aid, Steve. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of water inside. Uh. Two hours later. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm sinking. This doesn't look ideal, but I mean, if you were in an emergency situation, no, that wouldn't help. Maybe you should have had a bucket with I'm you. I'm in the pool. Oh. <laughs> you could try again. Try lifting it um, higher before you tip it. Obviously that's not gonna work if you're at your depth, I'm on the bottom. Can I get water out of it enough so I can get back in? <laughs> you seen that bit in Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> yes. Right. I'm trying to get the water out of it. Bear in mind, this is only, this is within my own depth. <laughs> this is very undignified. Oh man, well that wasn't easy. How easy is it to tip someone out of it then? <laughs> Quite easy. Well, that's been a fun day or two with the Oru Beach LT folding kayak. I'd love to know what you think of the concept of this folding kayak. Are you convinced? Do you think it's a terrible idea? 
Um, or do you have one and think it's great? All I know is I'm going to be sad to be sending this back to Oru Kayak. I will miss the simplicity of this level boat.